Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Rod, Pater and Gold Separating Processor. Today I'd like to introduce you to the newest version of the Gold Drop, which is the latest prototype and close to a actual model which will be for sale. This is it here. Gone is the tripod that used to support the gold drop. It is now mounted to this yellow barrel, which is the tailings barrel. The action of the gold drop now is that water is pumped from the blue barrel, which is the pump barrel, into the gold drop, through the gold drop, processing the dirt, getting the gold out. The tailings rise up and empty into the bucket, into the tailings bucket in the yellow barrel. The water then transfers over to the blue pump barrel by the crossover tube at the base of the blue barrel between the two barrels. Then the cycle is started over again. Water is pumped from the blue barrel, empties into the yellow barrel, crosses over the blue barrel, and the cycle continues. So today's demonstration, I have some black sand again from Cape Disappointment and this is the black sand which I actually have already processed so now that I have improved the gold drop made it more sensitive and now it drops out smaller gold I'm going to rerun this black gold black sand and see what gold is in it this is the black sand here from Cape Disappointment that I'm going to be processing. You can see it's pretty mucky stuff, no doubt about it. It's got cling, that's for darn sure. Okay, let's process this through the gold drop. Got a half a bucket here, about two and a half gallons. see the black rising up through the column here. Now the tailings are dropping into the tailings bucket there and the gold should be dropping into the jar.
Okay, now we'll see what we got. We'll drain the trap. Now we'll see what gold we got. Jar is empty. Okay, here's what came out of the black sand. Oh, right away I see a nice big one here. Let's see if we can focus in on this one. There we go. Nice little flake. Go down here where I scoped out these little stuff. Here's our dime. There's the gold around there. See some really some tiny little spots. So that is the little stuff that we got out of this black sand from Cape Disappointment, Washington State. There you have it, the gold drop. As it currently looks, pretty much this is what it will be in production. The gold drop will be supported by this yellow tailings barrel. The pump barrel, the blue one, will be pumping the water. The advantage here is when you're all done for the day and you're ready to put it away, it'll dismantle, everything fits into the yellow barrel, but put the lid on it you're ready to take it away. Conversely, you can take it out and put it on a backpack frame. Currently the net weight is about 40 pounds. Not too bad for putting on a backpack. Now it's powered by a 12 volt, one and a half amp hour pump, 500 gallons per minute. Pretty lightweight. Can be powered by a solar panel, 100 watts will give you the 18 watts that it requires to run and give you another 82 watts to charge the battery that you might have with you in order to run in the evening. So quite a few advantages especially for getting out the small gold. Here we have probably 200 mesh gold easily that we've recovered. So, we'll be attending all of the gold shows, GPA gold shows, and uh, I encourage people to come to the Fresno show, to the uh, Portland show, Puyallup, Washington, and Fort Worth, Texas, which will be the, uh, demonstrating the gold drop. And potentially for sale sometime this year, not really sure when, 
we're still working on the final details and then final prototyping. This has got to be perfect. This is the only one model that I want to make. It needs to be right the first time. So, thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.